grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, also with you. Let us pray. Mighty One, who inspired Mary to sing of a world brought right side up by your justice and compassion, grant us a vision of a repaired and renewed world. Invite and enlighten us to work with you to create it. In the name of our great hope, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Imagine. 
We also cannot dislodge the story from the dread, the fear of miscarriage, the concern for the mother's health, the, the creeping feeling that this could be a mistake, each tragic newspaper headline begging the question, what kind of world am I bringing this child into? But there is no walking back now, no reversing course. We are left with one option, hope. Richard Swanson, professor of theology at Augustana College, notes that we can read Mary and her song in two ways. In the first way, the unfortunately most common way, Mary is a lowly young woman humbly submitting to a power stronger than her. Not to put too fine a point on it, but this reading assumes that Mary is some kind of proper woman. She accepts without question anything any male authority demands of her. This is no challenge to the status quo, then or now. But, Swanson says, there's another way to read this. In this way, Mary's song establishes her as a resistor, a woman energized by her faith and the faith of her grandmothers to insist on the fulfillment of God's promises, to demand the justice promised by life in God's creation. Mary's song is the song of the mother in a refugee camp, unexpectedly expected. Mary's song is the song of infertile mothers and women who choose not to bear children and fathers who parent alone who must reckon with the world's definition of a mother. Mary's song is the song of a black mother carrying a child in a world that questions exactly how much this child's life will matter. Mary's song is the song of an expected mother awaiting her COVID test results. Mary's song is our song. The world is hell-bent on our destruction, but God is equally determined to restore us all completely. Mary's song encourages us to name specifically the injustices and inequalities of human life. Mary's song encourages us to demand that God act as God has acted in the past, to right side up the world, to take the side of the lowly and fill the hungry. Mary's song encourages, to, encourages us to see that we are all bearing a sign of this work. We are all co-creators with God in the work of reordering the world and repairing its flaws. This is not a passive song. This song is a call to action. It is a, it is a call to all generations to be the fulfillment of Mary's prophecy. It is a call to see in every child born not just Jesus, but the Christ, the Messiah, the Savior, the hope of the world. Not that every child born will be the incarnation of God's self, but that every child born will be brought into God's world to repair, reorder, and reveal. And so, beloved, sing. Sing about the world as it is. Sing about devastating pandemics and debilitating partisanship. Sing about all the isms that divide us. Sing about your cancer and your loss and your pain. And then, beloved, labor and bear into this world a real hope that by the grace of God, things will be different. In Christ Jesus, we meet the God who knows our weakness and bears the wounds of the world. Therefore, let us be bold as we pray, trusting God draws near to those in any kind of need. God of hope, our world is filled with sorrow and need, and when we would prefer to sleep, rouse us with the message, our salvation is near. Strengthen us that we may lay aside that which weighs us down and inspire us to pursue one another's peace and good that we will all be alert when you come to reign. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our judge, we ignore the voice of the prophets. We lift up arms against your children. We imprison and neglect those who work for peace. 
May those who lead us seek your way, that all people may stand before you in unending praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, cast off our lethargy and grant us a spirit of urgency. Your kingdom comes. Enliven us that we may prepare the way for Christ in our hearts, homes, communities, and world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, your children fall victim to that which cannot be predicted. This unprecedented pandemic traumatizes us all. Heal the sick, comfort the bereaved, uplift the disappointed, strengthen the weary, and grant us safety for your love's sake. Give us hope to move through this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, grant us the courage to believe your word, however unlikely your promises appear. Keep us diligent in your service and vigilant always awaiting the fulfillment of our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your wide and grace, O God, we place our prayers, spoken and unspoken, trusting you will receive them into your heart of mercy. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Thanks be to God. The peace of God who surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.